Hi, I'm Julie Geigel, International Psychic Medium, Spiritual Counselor, and Manifesting Diva over at Heaven Sent Healing. And I've come today to share with you a beautiful chakra healing forecast. All right, so uh, the chakra that we're working on this week is the third chakra. I work with an awesome chakra oracle deck and every week I pull a card and we focus and cleanse and clear out our different chakras depending on the energy of the week. So this week we're focusing on that third chakra and the third chakra is the color of yellow and it's all about standing in your power. And so it's located in the solar plexus, which is the belly button area. And you'll know when that third chakra is out of alignment because you might start feeling like you're beating yourself up a lot lately, or maybe you're having difficulty making decisions, or you're having some anger issues. So three things that you can do, or four things that you can do to bring that third chakra back into alignment is number one, eat yellow. So think bananas, uh, cheese, uh, sunflower seeds, and also the best essential oil for the third chakra is lemon, of course. And the best thing that you can do uh, during this uh, week to heal that third chakra is get some sunshine. Okay, so either sit by a window or go for a walk, but uh, really make sure that you're getting your dose of vitamin D with real live sunshine. And don't forget to wear or surround yourself with yellow. So buy yellow sunflowers or uh, grab a yellow scarf and wrap it around your neck. All of those things are going to help you bring that energy center back into alignment so you feel glorious. Now, the question that I want you to be asking when we think about some um, mental healing is, what have I done to help heal my past so that I can live and be more present during my day? So we are moving through that third week of retrograde and retrograde is all about reviewing and reflecting so we're still in that energy we also have this incredible super full moon this week along with our spring equinox and i'm over in the midwest and i'm telling you we had a dreadful winter <laughs> um over 50 inches of snow in february omg i we busted through so many records it wasn't even funny so i know i am ready for spring and so this energy is really bringing about some transformation so it's important that you go inside and do that inner work to clear that out so be true to yourself stand in your power speak your truth if you're feeling frustrated in your relationships it might be because you've been trying to be somebody or something that you're not that is not serving you so Get that courage to be who you really are. The universe is supporting you, especially this week, to take back your power and heal those inner wounds. That inner child is crying out. She's wanting attention. She's wanting help to heal. So be with her and uh, assist her. Sometimes it's holding the space for her uh, when she's crying out. And a lot of times that might show up just with that negative chatter. And again, just being with that energy and just pouring love, imagining that inner child and pouring love into her and just feeling that incredible gratitude she has when you can show up for her. Right? Awesome. Okay, well, I think I've covered it all. That's all I have for you here this week. If you haven't subscribed to our channel over on uh, YouTube, be sure to uh, subscribe to Numerologist and you'll be notified immediately when my post goes live. All right, everyone.
Thank you so much for joining us here today. Mwah!